afternoon everybody it's 7 30 a.m here in arizona and we are already on the road with the rv and we're heading west going to las vegas nevada we'll be there oh about 1 32 uh 1 32 o'clock this afternoon uh oh there is a time change from here to nevada i forgot about that so i don't know if we're an hour early or an hour late i don't know there's a one hour time difference totally just spaced out and thought about that um but uh this is gonna be a fairly easy ride you know although i can pull it fast i don't like to i usually putts around at uh around 60 miles an hour so get slightly better gas mileage not, not much <laughs> we're not getting any gas mileage y'all anyway we'll see you guys in las vegas and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun there and we're gonna do a lot of stuff and we're gonna be there for a while um three weeks i believe three solid weeks we're still on the road towards las vegas just want you to see what we see overcast pockets of rain here and there uh, not very scenic drive today that's why i didn't film much for you uh, we have been cutting through the mountains i thought we were going down 10 but we're not we're on 60 i believe 60 west um, and we just went almost 200 miles before we even got to a gas station. I mean, this place is desolate out here. Nothing. Uh, the next town up is Kingman, but that's still probably uh, almost an hour away. So, um, make sure you got plenty of gas. Some food, drinks, stuff like that before you start this drive. Thank goodness we filled the tank up. Anyway, we'll be there in a couple hours. Hopefully the sun will come out for us. Kingman, Arizona. Leslie says famous for turquoise. I never heard that or heard of this place. But I'm sure she's right. Um, I didn't bother filming because I know it wasn't gonna show up, but about 10 minutes ago, I had snowy mountains to my left, very close, and dry desert to my right. That yeah, was pretty crazy to see that. Um, quite a bit of snow on the tops of the mountains and uh, just nothingness to the right <laughs> so we're uh, 100 100 miles from vegas we've just entered lake mead recreational area we're getting close to the hoover dam um been slightly dreading this all day we're going to be driving over top of the hoover dam bypass today uh in about uh, 15 minutes we're going to be doing that uh, looks a little scary go ahead and google it And you'll see what I'm talking about <laughs> but uh, we didn't want to take the other way around we could have gone a different way uh, added about two hours to the trip and we it could have avoided the uh, the bridge but you know what we're just gonna go slow I can see part of the river now to my left uh, we're just gonna go slow and uh, enjoy it you know don't forget I'm dragging a 33 feet of and 10,000 pounds behind me, so that just uh, adds to the thrill, right?
got about nine miles to our exit and um, that's Las Vegas that's the strip on the horizon I'm pointing right straight at the stratosphere I'll try to zoom it in for you um, I can pick out some of them I can see the Bellagio I can see uh, Steve Wynn's casino uh, for some reason cannot see the Luxor the pyramid um, that is not as tall as most of them I, I'm not able to see it from here over to the left. Leslie thinks she sees it, but uh, I'll never be able to get that one on camera the, from this far away. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you see what we see. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there is some serious snow up on that mountain. Snow on the mountain. Desert below. All right, guys, we made it to the uh, Las Vegas Resort. Just pulled in. And we were just getting hooked up when the water line, uh, the water valve kind of exploded on us. What is going on? That thing blew up. Okay. Alright guys, it looks like what's happened is this faucet is just no good. Uh, water was just, you can see everything's soaking wet, including me. <laughs> and here's what's happening, it's just spinning. So uh, we got a couple maintenance guys, they ran right over as soon as we called. Super fast service. And uh, they're going to do the shutoff valve and replace this and we should be in business. Right. Later on after we get leveled and set up, well, probably tomorrow I'll give you guys a tour. Of the whole place and uh, we got a pull through which is real nice let me show you that so we're still we're still connected to the truck of course and this is our pull through site and uh we got a little bird here for a pet is there a pet bird is coming to see us there it comes and uh oh we got bathrooms right in front of us and a dumpster right in front of us but i don't know where the laundry is yet we're gonna figure that one out there's another building over there 